Good morning, Sioux Falls Lutheran School. Good to be with you on the first day of school. I know that we have some students who are new this year, so I want to welcome you to our awesome school. I know that many of you are returning students, so I want to welcome you back. This is going to be an awesome year. And it's so wonderful to be here to start it off with you as chapel leader today. My name is Pastor Corey Aker from Faith Lutheran Church, and uh, we have a wonderful chapel in store for us today. We have a wonderful day of school in store for us, and our theme over the course of this year goes with a national youth gathering. Any of you plan to go to the national youth gathering in July? All right, handful of you, good. This is the theme that we'll be going with for the national youth gathering as well. In all things. It comes from Colossians chapter 1, which we'll read here in just a little bit. But what a wonderful message that in all things, Jesus is with us. I invite you to stand for just a moment. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We, oh, you can be seated. All right, we'll sing with the Lord, begin your task. Uh, I don't know if you know this song or not, but it is such a fun song to sing at the beginning of something. So here it is, the beginning of a new school year. We'll sing with the Lord, begin your task.
What a good way to start off singing to the Lord and praising him. I mentioned that our theme over the course of this year is taken from Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 20. We'll read that at this time. At the very end, there will be a verse in this that we will all read together. That will be in bold. So Colossians 1 says, He, that is Jesus, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. And he is before all things. And in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell. Together? And through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. All things. That covers a lot of stuff, doesn't it? And in Colossians chapter 1, Paul lets us know it covers everything. When he says all things, he actually means what the word all means. There's nothing left out. All things. And if there's nothing left out, that also means there is no one left out. You are a part of the all things that Jesus cares about. Today, we begin back to school. And some of you may already be thinking about that last one. School's out, but you gotta wait, right? And somewhere in the middle of that, 100 days in, we have the 100th day celebration. Throughout the course of this entire school year, all your days, all your moments, all your victories, all your defeats, all your moments, Jesus is with you. This is the message for our first day of school. And this is the message that goes with you every single day. In all things. How about our victorious days? How about a straight A-plus report card? Nice. Anybody aspire to that? All hands go up. Oh, you can do it. How about this? Friends reconciling, or I love this one. You just won the big race, won the big match. And my favorite picture up here, up in the corner, this little baby. I have not got to meet her yet, but I will. This is my niece, Ariella, from Portugal. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Everybody say, aw, oh, thank you. In our victorious days, Jesus is with us. In those days when we're on the mountaintop, Jesus is right there celebrating, maybe even giving us a high five, a pat on the back, saying, well done, good and faithful servant. In all times, Jesus is with us. What about these days, though? Oh, I'm not going to ask you if you aspire to this, because I know you don't, but oh, sometimes it happens. A bad grade. Or friends who are fighting or he didn't even come close to winning the race. I think he tripped over his hurdle that time. Or maybe we have to attend the funeral of someone we love. These are not high moment days for us, are they? These are, these are defeated days. These are days that take the wind out of us. Almost like punched in the gut kind of days. Jesus is there too. In all things. In all times, Jesus is with you. In all our moments, just take a look at some of the pictures and, and imagine in your mind what each of these people may be thinking. We've got some highs, we've got some lows, we've got some confusion, we've got all kinds of things going on. Why? Because we're people. And from day to day, from really hour to hour, we've got all these things going on, don't we? We don't sit there 
like just this level person throughout the whole day without any highs or lows on our days, but we've got things that happen, things that come up, moments. And in every single one of those moments, whether they're wonderful or less than wonderful, Jesus is in that moment with you. In all things. At all times. In all moments. We really couldn't come up with a better first day of school, first day of anything message than this, that no matter what is ahead of you, Jesus is there. And it's going to be good. It might not feel good all the time, but it's going to be good. And this is the promise that Jesus makes. That in all things, I work it to your good. In all things, I am with you. Praise be to Jesus. The theme verse for our school for this whole year is all about growing in Christ. And so, once again, welcome to Sioux Falls Lutheran as through our chapel, through our classwork, through our interactions with teachers, through our interactions with each other, through our time together with Jesus, that is exactly what we do. Growing in Christ. Growing together. Amen. Well, what I would like to do is offer some blessings of you all in the name of Jesus as we begin this wonderful new year. And I would like to start with our teachers and our staff. I would like to especially bless you and send you forward into this wonderful new year with the blessings of Jesus, the promises that we've just heard about. So if all of our teachers and staff and faculty, if everyone would please stand so that we can see you. Just our teachers, gentlemen. Thank you. Someday. Someday. All right. God bless you and keep you in the wonderful work that he has raised you up to do. God, go with you in the real presence, the felt presence of Jesus Christ in all that you do and all that you say as you work to shape and mold the lives of these students in their education and in their faith. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. All right. We have some also very special people who are with us people who support you students, uh, whether you know it or not, people who are praying for you, people who are with you constantly, whether in presence or not. We have uh, parents and pastors and DCEs and all kinds of people who have come here today because they love you, because they know and want you to know that in all your times, all your moments, Jesus is here. So I'd like for every, all of our guests to please stand, and I would like to bless you as well. Before I bless you, uh, students, take a look. Who all joined us today? Look at this. Yeah, chapel's opened back up. This is awesome. Good. God bless you as you continue to lift up and care for the precious children that you have raised, that you care about, that you've prayed for all these years. God bless you as you continue to walk with and pray for the children who attend Sioux Falls Lutheran School. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, students, please stand. The school is really for you. And to be a part of a Lutheran school is to be in the presence of Jesus, not just at chapel, but certainly at chapel. But to be in the presence of Jesus at all times. So whether you are having uh, wonderful relationships with each other or sometimes maybe fighting a little bit, it is back to the gospel of Jesus Christ that we go. And your teachers and all the folks who have stood up earlier are here to guide you and help you through that. Not do it for you, but to guide and help you 
through the powerful gospel to be restored and reconciled. So as you begin your new school year in the name of Jesus, God bless you. God bless you with an amazing school year with far more victories than defeats, but enough defeats to keep you humble. May all your days begin and end with Jesus. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. Oh, sorry, we all have to stand. <laughs> Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll stay standing as we confess our Christian faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the holy Christian church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, you can be seated for our uh, closing song. And I don't know if you guys collected offering today, but if anybody does have offering baskets from the classroom, please do bring them forward, set them on the altar while we sing this song together. This is going to be a great year, and we are so glad that you are here. It is an honor to serve as the opening chapel to be with you on this day, this wonderful first day of school. I leave you by placing the blessing that the Lord has put on his people for thousands of years. These are words that were spoken all the way back in the Old Testament to God's chosen people through Aaron. These words are placed on you today. The Lord bless you and keep you.
The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. God bless you. Welcome to Sioux Falls Lutheran. Have a great day and a great year. And uh, we'll welcome forward Mrs. Esser for some important announcements. Testing. There we go. Well, good morning. Welcome. Whew, it's just kind of mellow out here for a first day. So excited to see you all and just, uh, wow, there's just lots of things on the docket for this year. Thank you, Pastor Aker, for getting us kicked off so well. And uh, as the chapels progress throughout the year, you're going to see that we are incorporate. We will be incorporating a m multiple different elements, and we're going to be getting you all more involved. And so we're really looking forward to that. Welcome to our guests. You are welcome to come and join us every Wednesday, either at this service that starts at 8:05 with our sixth through twelfth graders or the one that starts at 8.40 with our kindergarten through fifth graders. We love having you back in the building with us, and I hope your day is just immeasurably blessed that you got to have a midweek worship service uh, with our students. All right, well, I'm going to welcome some people specifically, and first of all, our freshman class, the official class of 2025, and they're sitting about six rows back. They include Luke Asher, Gabe Nom Dominic Kelly, Angeline, Angeline Dunkel, Caden Garretts, Braxton Johnson, Caden Feldstead, Kelsey Miller, Charlie Peters, Spencer Rosberg, Dory Sproles, Isabella Stupkier, Jace Taylor, and Nathaniel Viss. Welcome, freshmen. God has also blessed us with lots of new students and friends throughout the sixth, uh, in the sixth through twelfth grade. And so in sixth grade, we welcome this year Rowan Becker, Nora Crotty, Nathan Renzner, and Jay Storm. Welcome to Sioux Falls Lutheran. In seventh grade, we welcome Logan Bombach, Noah Renzner, and Sophie Stupkier. Welcome. In eighth grade, Keely Elkins. It's right there. In tenth grade, Hayden Schmidt, Jadlin Stocky, and Mackenzie Titus. In eleventh grade, Esther Otten and Emma Stupkier. We have several new staff members, or several new staff members and faculty. So first of all, Mr. James Stoop here, our new middle and high school principal. We look forward to the year with you. He's, out, he's got us off to a great start. Sitting, go ahead. Yep. <laughs> Sitting not too far behind him is not a new face, but someone in a new role about which we're very excited, and that's pastor, campus pastor Darren Olson. We look forward to celebrating your installation here on September 2nd. Mrs. Miller, Mrs. Melissa Miller is standing in the back there. She joins us as uh, part of our wonderful music team. So she was here last year, but she has an official role in the music department now, so welcome. Am I missing any other new faculty and staff? I do see Mrs. Bombach back there, and I know she's part of our preschool uh, education, uh, educational assistant, so you can just wave hi, and we welcome you, too. Okay. The other thing, another thing that we do at every chapel is to recognize birthdays, and this, and this day, the August birthdays include Braden Geick in 11th grade on August 3rd, Savannah Waterfall in 11th grade on August 5th, and Pastor Olson on August 29th. Happy birthday to you all.
All right, under Mr. Stupke's capable guidance, our middle and high school athletics are off to a great start, start with football, cross country, and volleyball practices, which all have officially begun, and competitions already starting for the upcoming week. So cross country has their first invite at Beersford on August 27th. If you're in cross country, will you stand up, please? So we can see who you are. Oh, wonderful. May God bless your run. And then volleyball has their first tournament at Irene Wakanda this Saturday, August 28th, starting at 8 a.m. And so they will play three teams. So there's middle school and high school volleyball. So if you're involved in volleyball, why don't you stand so that we can appreciate you. Middle is a big group. Look at that. And for the first time ever, we have football. And so we're uh, working on a JV season this year of nine-man football with Mr. Stukier and Mr. Dom. So if you're a part of our new football program, will you please stand? Very exciting. Thank you all. I know you're already working hard, and we're looking forward to cheering you on. Uh, student Council, Ms. Holdorf, will be taking high school students today during homeroom to discuss Student Council elections. And now I have several other announcements to roll through, so here they go quickly because we've got to flip, flip the chapel for the next group. So on Friday at 2.15, you will all have the opportunity to do, enjoy the Mariachi San Pablo Band. So if you've ever, never heard of a mariachi band, you are in for a real treat. They've traveled here from Texas, and so your teachers will be uh, giving you more information about that. Phase one high school edition, as of this moment, we expect that phase one will be finished and ready for you all in high school to occupy in about two and a half weeks. We're thinking Monday, September 13th. Until then, thank you for your incredible patience with sharing spaces. And the other exciting news here is that phase two construction will begin as soon as phase one is finished. Pastor Aker mentioned chapel offerings, and we will get that started again. So we'll probably have a basket when you walk in that you can put your offerings in, and our student council will select a recipient for our chapel offerings this year and the upcoming weeks. Juniors and seniors, please meet Pastor Olson in the band room right after chapel for a few minutes of New Testament. Them too. Whoever wants to go with Pastor Olson. You just have the whole high school. You just take them all. There you go. Uh, seniors, seniors, I see you. As part of your school leadership experience, I'm currently taking applications for emceeing weekly chapel announcements. Maddie Peters set an awfully high bar last year, so no pressure. If you'd like to be considered, please see Mr. Stupgear or me, and if I don't hear from you, I will seek you out. This is my last time. Finally, Mr. Turinger, we do have a big reveal. Our mascot, the unnamed eagle, received a much needed makeover this summer and now sports our new school colors, navy and Columbia blue. Mr. Turinger, will you please reveal the eagle? Dakota Sports has created an online store from which you can choose a variety of clothing options. And the link has been emailed to all school families. The deadline for orders is September 3rd. A special thanks to Ms. O'Kander and a few others who really worked hard to get this logo done and ready to get onto our uh, spirit wear and our athletic uniforms. Um, I think he looks great. The Dakota Sports guy said he doesn't look intimidating. He looks fierce. And so I, I think he's going to represent us well. And notice that he is unnamed. So what does that mean? He needs a name. Yeah. Do you have something to sign her? Oh, then you better come up here because I'm getting ready to get these people out of here. Oh, you just say it really loud. Ooh, marching band, 7 a.m. Friday morning. All right. Visitors and guests, thank you for worshiping with us today. 
Uh, while I wish we could linger and visit, we really need to exit the chapel quickly so that our kindergarten through fifth grade students, teachers, and families can get in to worship. God bless your day. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>